Yes, and welcome back on the Touchline. Bernardo Kumo right here on to our second session of the interview. And I'm blessed to have Athena Sobango. Athena Sobango is a former uh, player, played for a number of clubs in the country. That's a Shabana reunion as well as poster and also a certified coach went on to coach Kangemi United while they were still a top tier club and also coached outside the country that's in seashells. He is currently serving as extreme sports uh, head of operations and also sits in Hussein Mohammed's election strategic team. Karibu sana Athena Sobango. Oh, thanks. Uh -huh. thank, thank they have been really met you severally uh, mm -hmm. since extreme sports came onto the scene and that must have been 20 years ago and the successes are all telltale. For instance, Timion one of the teams that really did well, that's in Dandora Youth, right? But yeah, and yes. Dandora also. Yeah, Dandora also. Has also. So yeah. we really got involved at that time, and mm. it, it really brought us together as a team. And it was uh, maybe one of the beautiful events that have ever come uh, in the recent two decades. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I think if you look at the history of extreme sports, uh, mm -hmm. you can look at uh, the, the very, very many players mm -hmm. who came from from the from the from the tournament mm -hmm. to come and play in the big league, mm -hmm. so um, the, the achievements by extreme sports and super eight soccer soccer tournament mm -hmm. uh, you, you can mention there's so many mm -hmm. there's so many yes uh, but uh, it, it was a very very good platform for for up, uh, for uh, for grassroots football mm -hmm. and uh, we always say that uh, if there were no problems mm -hmm. with the federation or whatever mm -hmm. I think. We could have done more mm -hmm. in terms of uh, getting uh, to almost every part of the, of, of, of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, as you know, we've had several uh, head-ons with, 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 with the football leadership mm -hmm. in regard to the tournament. Mm -hmm. But we, we, we continue to soldier on, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the stories are there to be read mm -hmm. on what we have achieved as, as uh, extreme sports mm -hmm. in terms of uh, grassroots football. Mm -hmm. And I think this happened simply because there was a huge vacuum eh, mm -hmm, in terms mm -hmm. of uh, grassroots uh, mm -hmm. football management. Mm -hmm. So we took advantage of that and ensured that um, we have something that can keep the youth going mm -hmm. and can be able to give them a very good platform uh, of playing football. Mm -hmm. Remember, we we gave some of the some of the teams opportunity even to play in the stadia, something that they have never that they, 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 they have they, it has never happened to mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. We had City Stadium, we had Nyayo National Stadium, mm -hmm. we had Kasarani, we, getting the, 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 the guys from the from them from them tar to come and fill the fill uh, Kasarani, how uh, Nyayo Stadium the surface by then was very very good, so it's something that we can say that we we really tried we really mm -hmm. tried to to ensure that uh, football is moving in mm -hmm. the area. And maybe what what was uh, behind the the successes? So what do you think drove the, the success that the tournament did? I think, uh, it's, first of all, it's good management. Yeah, if you ask any team in Nairobi, they'll tell you that it is one of the most organized tournaments in Nairobi. And uh, the organization itself uh, really pulled teams to come and uh, participate because we were very strict with the rules and whatever and the management. And Extreme Social as a company has a, has a policy of professionalism. So we had to we had to embrace that, uh, get the clubs embrace professionalism in Nairobi, and it really worked. And uh, remember, even in 2017, we were voted the best uh, sponsored uh, grassroots league in Africa in 2017 by Discovery Awards. Mm -hmm. So it shows you that uh, we were doing we, we are doing a good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and also, this did fuel Hussein Mohammed's uh, uh, leadership ambitions, right? No, you see, uh, Super 8 was, uh, was uh, inaugurated in 2004, mm -hmm. 2003, yeah, 2004, mm -hmm. and uh, Hussein <coughs> has been uh, spearheading uh, the growth of the, uh, of, of the tournament, eh? mm -hmm. and uh, probably in 20, 2011, this sparked something in him that he had, he had to vie for the presidency, of which eventually he did not manage to win. But uh, we've learned from uh, 2011 what happened. Mm -hmm. So this time around, we don't, we don't want to leave anything to chance. Mm -hmm. We want to ensure that uh, we tick every box mm -hmm. to ensure that uh, we, we get, we, he gets the presidency. What, what are the chances? The chances are high because, uh, as you can see, the current situation in, uh, in Kenyan football is that everybody's tired. Mm -hmm. We are tired of some shenanigans. We're tired of uh, some fake empty promises. Football at the grassroots is almost dying. 
We have uh, a, a blotted league, mm -hmm. uh, Division Two league. Imagine a national, a national Division Two league ha having 90 teams, mm -hmm. over 90 teams, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, having only two teams qualify. What does does it make sense? So there's a lot that needs. Uh, uh, football stakeholders are tired, mm -hmm. and uh, they, they 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 want a new lease of life mm -hmm. in, in terms in matters football. What would you do differently? Just uh, get it right. Get it right means by t um, ensuring that there's transparency and accountability mm -hmm. in how we manage football. Mm -hmm. That is the, that is the, the missing link now, mm -hmm. because you, 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 nobody's telling you what what you receive and what you give out and whatever. Everybody's everything is played under mm -hmm. under the table. Mm -hmm. Nobody. You remember the incident where some some Premier Leagues refused to sign a contract that they yes. do not even know yes. uh, the content, the broadcast contract. Some, yeah, some years so, back. Yeah, yes. you remember. Yes, uh, Gormai, I think, and uh, several yeah, well. yeah, yeah, they refused to sign. So that just shows you how how we are managing the game, and it's it's important that uh, people have to understand that for us to grow as a country, mm -hmm. we have to do everything above board. Mm -hmm. We have to ensure that uh, football <coughs> is managed in a way that. Everybody, it can attract sponsorship from all corners. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are having a situation whereby it's only in, uh, it's in history, uh, Nick Monroe is the only president who has been handcuffed and taken to court for embezzling football fans. Eh? <laughs> can you imagine? Hmm? Who, who, which corporate can have confidence in that, in that institution if the president is being, is being handcuffed and taken to court for embezzling fans? So it's some, it shows you that uh, we, are, we, are, we are at our deathbed mm. and uh, something needs to be done. And uh, it's evident even from the way that our national teams are playing. Mm. Yeah. And it's also shopping in the, the standards of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, we, we just need to wake up and uh, tell those delegates, the people who are in charge. Mm -hmm. Imagine the, the destiny of Kenyan football lies with 94 people. Yes. Out of the millions and millions of Kenyans. Mm -hmm. 94 people decide where the football <laughs> destiny goes. Uh -huh. And, and it, it, it just appealed to them that uh, <coughs> this time they have to do it right. Mm -hmm. Because we know a lot that goes behind the, a lot that goes behind the scene yeah. in terms of um, the bribery and whatever. A lot happens during the elections. And people, the people tend to forget that I'm casting this vote to ensure that uh, my region or my, my team mm -hmm. is going to benefit from this leadership I'm trying to. I'm, I'm, I'm voting for. Yeah. What do you think the 94 people most of the time make wrong decisions? Some of them forget uh, forget why they are there. Because once they see the money, <laughs> they forget that I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm supposed to represent Bungoma County. Uh -huh. I'm supposed to... And b going to that election, I have to, I have to know that I'm representing a region mm -hmm. that is really depending on my vote mm -hmm. for football development. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I'm from Kisumu, I'm a chairman of Kisumu County, I'm voting for, the region, for Kisumu region to be able to benefit from, mm -hmm. from uh, this vote. Because mm -hmm. whoever I'm going to elect, because this is the interest of the, the football stakeholders mm -hmm. in Kisumu, mm -hmm. the interest of clubs in mm -hmm. Kisumu. Mm -hmm. Not personal interest. Mm -hmm. But the biggest problem we have is that once these guys are elected, it now becomes a personal interest. Mm -hmm. where the, where the bread is buttered, buttered most. Mm -hmm. So this is the biggest problem we have. Mm -hmm. And it totally happens from the grassroots level. If we can't, we can't clean up the grassroots level, it will be difficult for us to clean up. Mm -hmm. So it starts down. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, and we talked about the blotted league, right? Mm -hmm. This what kind of effect that it had on the, on, the, on the Kenyan football or the players? The blotted league is, a, is a having a huge effect because things are folding up, because they cannot manage. Mm -hmm. For, let me just give you an example. The FKF Division Two League mm -hmm. has 96 teams in this, this region, mm -hmm. in the, the eastern side. Mm -hmm. You have 96 teams. Each team is paying uh, close to 50,000. Assuming the, 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 the affiliation fee is 45,000. Mm -hmm. If you bring up the <coughs> issue of uh, uh, registration cards, it, it comes to 50,000. Mm -hmm. That is per team. Now, then, mm -hmm. you have to pay the referee. You have every team has to part with five thousand shillings every game, mm -hmm. yeah? every weekend. Yes, every weekend. Mm -hmm. And remember, you travel all the way from Nairobi to Begera. You know Begera, where we have the ranch in uh, in the, I don't know what you call it, uh, past Nyauru. Mm -hmm. As you go, mm -hmm. it's very very expensive. Mm -hmm. For instance, a local team, mm -hmm. for it to be able to honor a match, mm -hmm. maybe going to play against Begera in mm -hmm. uh, in the whatever you call it, the yeah. ranch in mm -hmm. in, 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 in Nanyuki, mm -hmm. past Nanyuki. Narumoru there, 
you should have to spend around 70,000 shillings. That is transport, uh, referees, and, uh, and any, any, other, any other expenses. Where, where can a team from Dandora get 20,000 shillings every weekend? Do you think it's, 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 it's not possible? So we are looking at the viability of this league. What is the essence? It has killed, it has killed the level of uh, competition. Because for now, you'll find even the federation hawking those slots. Because teams are folded. Mm -hmm. No, you are, you are told you have a slot here, bring some money, and you continue playing. Mm -hmm. And that is what has been happening. Yeah. Most of the things there are not there on, on merit. Mm -hmm. They just be handpicked and probably told you fill up this slot with some money and you, you continue playing. And of course, this the long term effect also goes down to the officiating side. Yes, you, because you see now, if I'm paying the referees, eh, eh, if I'm playing at home, I might be, I, I might try to to yeah. entice the referee yeah. instead of giving the normal five thousand shillings. Yeah, double up. Or I, I double like up that. and mm -hmm. I give him ten thousand shillings. Mm -hmm. He's a human. He's a he's a human being. Yeah. It can be tempted. So that is why you see we have a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of problems in terms of uh, match fixing. There is a lot that is happening in Kenyan football that needs to be addressed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how, how, how would, how would um, Hussein Mohammed, if he, if, he, if he gets there, how would he streamline the operations? I have, uh, I have total belief in Hussein Mohammed mm -hmm. uh, because of the history, having worked with him for, for 20 years. Mm -hmm. I know what, what he wants for Kenyan football. Mm -hmm. And I really hope that he wins because this is the only time to turn around the game mm -hmm. with a person who is passionate mm -hmm. and who has a professional uh, approach in management of the game. Mm -hmm. And who, has, who is going to embrace an, uh, uh, inclusivity in terms of bringing even the legends mm -hmm. on board. Mm -hmm. You heard his, uh, his, his speech just the other day. Mm -hmm. He wants to bring everybody on board mm -hmm. in terms of football brand management. We don't want to scare away people from uh, coming to yes. play How, why, why do you think that the legends have been shying away for, for, for quite some time now? The legends, nobody has recognized them. All the people who have been coming in as uh, federation presidents, no, nobody thinks about the legends. Mm -hmm. Because these are people who have <coughs> retired from the game. So what next? And most of them are just mentioned during such a period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to get away from the culture of bring, assembling them for an event. And yes. Yes. For us, we want to ensure that they get opportunities mm -hmm. during their retirement. There are so many opportunities in football that can be. We have physiotherapists, we have match analysts, we have... Uh, team people, doc, team, uh, yeah, team managers. Uh -huh. We have team managers, mm -hmm. we, have, we have... So there's, there's a lot, mm -hmm. there's a lot. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. uh, we can have uh, match analysts, they can be trained out mm -hmm. to analyze matches mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. There's, there's a lot mm -hmm. that can do. They can do a lot of scouting mm -hmm. yeah? yes. for, the, for, for, the, for the country and the, for, for the federation. They can be involved in the game. Get them involved with the game mm -hmm. because of the experience. Mm -hmm. They can go even, you can, you can take them anywhere across the country and tell them you want them to, to scout for talent. Mm -hmm. Instead of keeping them idle there, mm -hmm. because this guy is retired, mm -hmm. he loves football, but he wants to, to, get, to get involved in football moving forward. But he has no opportunity. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So create opportunities for opportunities for the former players. Mm -hmm. Give them roles and responsibilities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and we we we, we can, they can we can do a lot as former players. Mm -hmm. We can do a lot. And football opportunities are so <coughs> are so big that you don't have just to condense them to one place. That yeah. uh, this is this is where everybody wants to do two, three, or four jobs at the same time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I mean, also uh, you've been. Extreme uh, Sports League has been ongoing right in different parts of the country. What maybe, how efficient is the league? No, the league is not going. What we are mm -hmm. doing now, mm -hmm. we, we are celebrating 20 years uh, mm -hmm. of, uh, of existence as Extreme Sports. So what we are doing as part of our celebrations, we are supporting tournaments across mm -hmm. the country. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been to Amira, we've been to Kitui, yes. we've been to several parts of the country mm -hmm. uh, just to support as a, as a way of celebrating. Uh, 20 years of existence. Mm -hmm. So for now, we don't have an active league that, that is running. Mm -hmm. And um, Hussein Mohammed's uh, fo uh, main focus now is to win the presidency. Mm -hmm. So once, once that is done, then we'll maybe go back to our programs again as Exchange Sports, not, not as, a, as, a, as a FKF, mm -hmm. as Exchange Sports. Mm -hmm. But uh, the response outside the country has been very, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, outside uh, Nairobi, mm -hmm. because mainly Super 8 has been played in Nairobi. but. 
We had a few editions in Mombasa. We had an, an edition in Mombasa mm -hmm. where we, we, we pumped in a lot of money for the Mombasa Sub-Branch uh, League. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was very successful. And also, we, 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 last year, we went to Namira. We, 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 we supported the, 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 the league there, mm -hmm. the, the, the county activity there. Just, just as, 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 as a way of celebrating our 20 years of existence. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, looking at maybe um, Hussein Mohammed's candidacy, what do you think that puts him above the rest? I think his, 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 his passion and his dedication and his track record. Mm -hmm. He has a very good track record of working with, uh, remember, we started with Safaricom, we came with Scott Pesa. We have, he has had so many opportunities of, of doing things, and he has, he, has, he, has, uh, he has the confidence of most of the corporate, uh, some of the corporate world. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they really look upon him to, when they come, when he comes in as a president, mm -hmm. they'll be able to support him. Mm -hmm. uh, support him on the FKF uh, programs. Mm -hmm. yeah. How urgent do we need change? Just like yesterday. Change, change, for this one, the change is inevitable. Mm -hmm. uh, some people have to, uh, to, to, to wind up and go. Mm -hmm. Because we, we don't want a situation where a country, we are playing football, and we don't see any, we, we don't see any progress. Yeah? We have money is coming from FIFA. <coughs> nobody, nobody talks about this. Remember during the COVID time, FIFA dispersed close to 180, uh, 180 million mm -hmm. shillings. Mm -hmm to cushion players and, uh, and teams mm -hmm. during that uh, uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. But up to date, nobody has come up to say that we received this money. Yeah, I think at that time only the government in partnership with the yeah. betting firm came in and yeah, yeah, yeah. did that and FIFA, a little FIFA, bit. Yes. FIFA, FIFA gave all the member associations, mm -hmm. MFAs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If every association was given, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially Sub-Saharan, they almost received, even if you go to FIFA, mm -hmm. Google, mm -hmm. uh, go to FIFA, mm -hmm. you'll see mm -hmm. what was disbursed to this country. Mm -hmm. But to date, no mm -hmm. club, no player mm -hmm. received even a single coin. Where did this money go? Somebody tells you that we paid the coach. Mm -hmm. we, the, money, but the money that was given by FIFA, we used it to, to clear some areas with the, with the, with the, the coach who took us to, 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 to FIFA. <laughs> yes, I'm was this yes. money meant to pay the coach or was it meant it was meant to cushion the Develop, players? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To cushion players. Yeah, cushion players as well. Yes. FIFA received Kenya received a lot of money from uh, from FIFA, mm -hmm. from CAF mm -hmm. and and other development partners. Mm -hmm. The government mm -hmm. is, a, is a major stakeholder, mm -hmm. gives a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it is not accounted for. Mm -hmm. Nobody accounts for this money. Mm -hmm. Uh, just the other day, we saw some flimsy, flimsy uh, statement of accounts. Mm -hmm. You cannot even, even if you are, you are so naive, you cannot understand, you'll be able to see that this is just uh, outright theft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So <coughs> this, is, this, is, this is something that we need to look, say, and mm -hmm. say that we need a fresh start mm -hmm. in and, football. And this particular fresh start, you believe, that will be, will be coming away the Hussein Mohammed, and you as part of the team, uh, you know, together with uh, your knowledge, long-term knowledge in the game, having been a player, former player as well as a former coach, this you, we believe that your input will be valuable to take the Kenyan game up the ladder. Satana Subango, thank you so much for gracing the touchline. Thank you. Yes, uh, and we wish you all the best. A great privilege, great privilege yes. to be here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching the touchline. And that's how we put the caps on today's edition. Keep watching Y254. Bernardo Kumu, great weekend.